What is up, my crazy subscriber? This is Joking John City 4 here, bringing us more Black Ops State multiplayer gameplay. Hopefully, you guys do enjoy this gameplay because I managed to go over 50 kills and also 14 deaths with the HVK assault rifle. If you guys enjoy this gameplay, make sure to leave a like because that's gonna let me know that you guys want to see some more action. So, anyways, uh, moving on to the main topic of today, which is about the Black Ops 3 DLC. It's almost time for that DLC season. And you guys will know what I'm talking about. The season pass. If you guys got it, you should be able to get all the maps and stuff. And also maybe some extra weapons. Because we don't know yet. Nobody knows if there's going to be extra weapons or extra maps. If you do know, then damn, that's a big ass D. Because there's nothing being confirmed yet. So, um, so yeah. The DLC. What do you guys want to see? What maps? What weapons? What, you know, zombie maps also. Because apparently zombies are still a big thing here. Uh, you know, what do you want to see? One of the biggest things that I really want to see in this game, you know, coming back from the old school ones, will be uh, maybe the Arcade Ops from Zombies. If you guys don't remember Arcade Ops from uh, Black Ops 1, that was a really fun mode to play on. It's, it's like, um, you know, over-the-top gameplay, and you're trying to kill the zombies, you know, with just the aiming the analog stick, and just, your gun just keeps on shooting forever. That will actually be a badass mode to have back, and especially with little jetpacks where you can just jump over the zombies. Imagine having that on Dead Ops. And just jumping over the zombies. Like, that would be crazy. But over the top. So, uh, that's going to be some crazy shit. But that's something I really want to see come back. Like, come on, man. Like, bring some of the old school stuff back. Uh, some of the multiplayer maps that I want to see back will be the grid. Now, this one's from Black Ops 1 also. Uh, yeah, a lot of Black Ops 1 stuff here. Because Black Ops 1 was perfection. I mean, I love that game. Um, the grid map. Now, this one has, like, two buildings on each side, I believe. And, um... You know, the reason why I want this map to come back is because it makes you or forces you to change your game style every time you move to, into a certain part of the map. Either you want to go through the inside of the building and, and play the old school way, or you want to go through the outside and down the middle and play how it is right now, which is just jumping with the freaking jetpacks out of the goddamn place and wall running stuff, because that's how it is. This map just has an open, wide ass road down the middle, and then two roads on the outside, and then the two buildings are just like sitting against each other. Like, it's fucking insane. So, having that kind of thing, like, that uh, it's gonna create a lot of changes in style, a lot of strategic advancement, and a lot of people are not gonna get bored because there's a lot of things to do in that map. I like grid back in Black Ops One, and uh, I queued so much in that one. I would like to see it back. The grid will be a great addition into the DLC. Another map that I want to see will be from uh, Black Ops Two. I believe it had like a big ass crater down the middle. Um, I forgot the name of it because I, you know, Black Ops Two is kind of forgettable for me. I don't know why, even though I played it like so much and I achieved so much in YouTube with that game. Um, but there was this one map that had like a big ass crater. I would like to see that one back too. And um, another map that I would like to see is the one with the trains. The ones that like um, that you walk in front of it, you know, the train's gonna run you over, of course. Uh, I would like to see that one back because uh, you know, when we were playing Black Ops Two. That train map, either the only way you can cross from one side to the other is by going around the whole goddamn train. Now with adding jetpacks, you know, we're going to be able to jump over the goddamn train with no problem and just fucking run around like crazy. And there's walls all over the, all over the goddamn place, so it's still usable. The wall running is still usable. You can jump all over the place. You can still play the old school way. And, um, you know, that's why I want that map back. I'm, I'm, not sure, I'm not sure if it's called Metro or something else. I think it's, I believe it's called Express or, or not. I'm not sure what to call, but it's the map with the trains on Black Ops 2. So, uh, so yeah, those are the maps that I want to see come back. And uh, some of the weapons will be the Peacekeeper again. I want to see the Peacekeeper coming back again. That was a hell of a weapon when they released. But after the update, of course, they fucked it up and made it super weak. I don't know why the hell they would even do that crap. But uh, the Peacekeeper was a hell of a weapon. I used it. I did a best class setup. A thousand people saw my video. Uh, I was suggest to go to my best class setups on my Black Ops 2 playlist. And uh, watch how many views I got in that one. Because people... Liked my setup and my, my best class setup and um, you know a lot of people were achieving so much with that weapon in my best class setup So I would like to see the peacekeeper come back also the commando from black ops 1 That one's kind of similar to the m46 I'm not sure if it's called the m46, but you know, it's, it's just super similar to the hvk kind of the one that I'm holding But um, I believe that uh, commando was really you know accurate also the farmers and the og Please bring them back. Those were like hell of a weapons I would like to use. And also the AK-74U. Almost all the weapons from Black Ops 1. Please bring him back as DLC. I miss all those weapons. So as I said guys, I'll probably make a part 2 talking about the stuff that I really do not want to see come back into Black Ops 3 on the DLC. So I'll see you guys later and subscribe for more. You guys want to see more Black Ops 3 multiplayer. Also most, most best, uh, more best class setups. And also Fallout 4. There's more coming up on that show.